all that time and effort. I mean, it took so long. Look how big crew got. Yeah, guys. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone! Guys, I'm fresh out of bed. I laid in bed as long as I could until I heard little rumblings outside. And we have a project starting today. A project that I didn't know was going to be starting today. This all happened yesterday on my birthday. Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to Mandy! Happy birthday to you! had the best birthday ever. So if you haven't seen the video where we celebrated my birthday, went down the Provo River and had a ton of fun, you guys need to go back and watch that one because it's awesome. Yesterday morning, we started working on a little bit of a project. It had all kind of started last weekend when we started ripping out the sod in our yard. We were just gonna rip out the sod, flatten it a little, put new sod down, and then my neighbor Sarah's like, you really could do a lot with this space. Why don't we think about something you could do? And I was like, never really thought of that. Thanks to Sarah, we have a big project on our hands. It's gonna be so amazing, I cannot wait. So we started looking at ideas, looking on Pinterest, talking to friends, we had a guy come out out for a bid. Well, they're starting construction today. The car just showed up. Just one guy out there now, and I think he's waiting for more people to show up. Looks like they're getting ready to start, but I wanted to take you guys out and show you the official before. Before we get started, watch this transformation come to life. This is the before. You can see this was all covered in sod. Huge portion of this, however, though, was totally dead. All of this part was dead right here. So we were like, let's rip it up. And then we noticed there's a huge like slope right here. So we thought, let's rip this up and then we're going to even it all out. Pretty much, we just got carried away with the sod cutter and had a little too much fun. Now we've made some changes. We're going to be doing a pad all right here fixing this grass the space is gonna look so much better we can't wait I've been picking out furniture looking online but this is yeah this has been a project that kind of came out of thin air I think it's gonna be really awesome I was able to go out and talk with them. He said, this project will only take two days. So that's really exciting. I was like, holy cow, this is happening way faster than I would have ever imagined. Because we ripped our sod out less than a week ago. This project will have been ripped out and redone in a week's time, which we weren't even planning on doing. While we're waiting for them to come back, you guys, I've just got a couple things that we just need to get done. We had a lot of fun celebrating and stuff yesterday. So the house was kind of ignored. We just were in and out all day. So stuff just got set everywhere. Doing things like loading the dishwasher, cleaning up counters, having fun. You call this fun? One thing that does need to happen today, boys need haircuts. You guys have probably never noticed how long their hair is. It's bad. We were gonna wait till school, but I think we're gonna have to do haircuts now and then wait and get haircuts again. Bless you. Just before school. Hazy needs a haircut too when we go back to school, so we're gonna get doing that to-do list today. Brex, way to go. Kids are crushing it. They're doing awesome. Hazy's helping, dancing around him. We're gonna do like, we're gonna do the dishwasher with him, but I just, Brex said it's okay if I follow him. I don't know what mom has told you already this morning, but we have got something major going down today, and it is going down faster, more efficiently, more amazingly, more spectacularly than we ever could have imagined. We came home last night from dinner to find a pile of dirt and rocks by the side of our house. We were like, is that our neighbors? So we asked our neighbors, they said, no, that's not ours. I think that's yours. These guys had come and dropped off the sand and rock for our backyard before we even got home from dinner after having talked on the phone with them that day. That's how fast yeah, no, they're on top of they this. They are so on top of it, so great. Gone beyond on a pile of dirt this morning. This morning we woke up to more than just dirt. We woke up to some choices and some options. Which I am terrible. It's hard guys, but terrible. Let's show let's show you guys what we're working with here, okay? We have our pavers. The pavers are here. They're here. Like, it's like Christmas morning. Literally, we were on the phone with him about this yesterday, and now the trailer's here ready to install. And Let me show you the things we've got. A long distance drive to get them, so he really crushed it. Yeah, guys, the longer version of this story is that the ones that we wanted were not available anywhere, but he found some about an hour and a half away from our house. It's a city called Layton. It's very far north of where we live. He hurried, called, paid for them, locked them down so nobody could get them, and then he drove that hour and a half up there to get them, threw them on this trailer, and brought them down here to us. Absolutely incredible. That's crew. <laughs> hey, crew. Hey. You know that this is our stuff? This is our new backyard right here. We're just telling everybody about it. What? Yeah, this is actually our backyard right here. So here, <laughs> you can listen. I don't think anybody even knows this is happening. It happened so fast. I think so everyone fast. thinks this is probably still theirs because they've had so much stuff going on at their yard. Yeah, or we haven't even told the kids patio. a ton about it. They heard us on the phone, but I don't think they knew. Usually these types of things don't happen this fast. He went with this gigantic, beautiful paver right here. This is the one that he went long distance to get for us. The reason I love it though, is it's like four different sizes. There's a rectangle, there's a big square, there's a small square, and there's a smaller rectangle. So it's placed randomly. There's no strategy in how they do it. He says it's just pure 
purely random. It looks so good. We've seen it in brochures. It looks yeah, fantastic. So this is the color that we're going So with. this is the color. We wanted to go a little more gray. In fact, this video is kind of washed out. It's not as white as it looks here. It's kind of like a tan with gray undertones. Am I using the word right, Yeah, Mindy? no, I think that's perfect. Okay. Then we were looking at a couple of different border options, and that's where we're stalling today. Now, did you throw out the charcoal entirely? Yeah, that's a no-no. I kind of um, like that one, but it's so contrasty. I got really good terms here, guys. This is called Toscana. Okay. This is actually really pretty, but it does pull those warmer brown tones. It makes everything browner. This one is called Victorian. I really like this one. It pulls more of the gray, but these two don't contrast as much, but I think that that's okay because the furniture we're going to put on it is really dark. So I think that it will look good. So which yeah. one are you thinking? Well, so I called in the big guns because you guys know Literal my, big my guns. neighbor, Sarah. Not me, Sarah. She also has very big guns, really <laughs> defined shoulders. Um, <laughs> She really does. Great um, imagination for other people's backyards. So, <laughs> this whole thing was her fault. Say her idea. I don't her, know her fault. We can fault her with okay, it. Her she fault. probably would take it. So, I texted her a picture because she was busy working. She couldn't come over here. And I was like, help me. What do I do? The guy was standing here waiting. She agreed with me. We both like Victorian. So, we are going with the grayer. Great. Version. And me as well. So that makes three for the gray. So I'm super pumped. And also, the furniture we're looking at is a darker, grayer type thing. So, I think yeah. it'll really pull all of that out. So, this is going to be the border. This is the main thing. Here it is. All of it ready to be installed. Now, here's what's crazy. We talked to the guy today. First of all, his daughter's watch so if you guys are watching hi your dad is amazing honestly one of the hardest working fastest working dudes we know cannot believe how quickly he got this stuff done total rock star he said that they may have it done this weekend yeah I he's think thinking he today and tomorrow pull it together and finish it they're gonna come here in about five minutes they should be showing up oh my gosh i didn't even realize that so you're here about five minutes to get things started i think because it's a smaller space and they've got everything they need should be done after tomorrow yeah i think after tomorrow they also have to prep for the sod and stuff because we are going to be bringing in grass oh so this is fix. the full deal we're going to be getting it completely done yeah. sodded everything yeah. let's go show you some of the other things we're working on because it's not just this. There are two air conditioning units going on, so sorry for the extra noise, but it is also like 98 degrees, so I'm glad that these houses are being cooled. And rising. Ooh, let me know if you know that reference. Okay, working back this way, we are, as I forgot, going to resod all of this piece right here that's mm -hmm. been taken out. Then we're getting a little bit jiggy with it. We're getting a little bit fancy. Tell us what we're gonna do, Mom. What we're thinking of doing, because there is a natural slope in our yard, you kind of are faced with a problem. If you have a bunch of water that's gonna be sitting on top of the pavers, it's going to make it settle, and then they'll become uneven. We don't want that, because then that just costs us money to constantly be doing repairs, because there's a natural slope Slope, he had the idea after he stood here for about 20 minutes and talked to me the other day he's like what if what if we made a stair oh. stepped down to the patio no and I was like oh, I was waiting for something like this to come to multi-tier multi-level backyarding in yeah. the Bingham's non-existent backyard is this happening there's not even a fool <laughs> we're just gonna take sod all the way to the patio we're gonna make a big stair still going it's not here this is not the stair no. further oh here we go we got an orange line in the grass right there so this will be a step down so guys check it out you'll come out the backyard this is where we do the trag or the grilling walk out a a little bit of grass, nice soft area for kids to play. Come right here. You step down into into what will be the patio area. There will be one step here. Then we are going to cut this concrete. This will all be patio as well. Patio will go fully extended all yeah, the way to the house. This will all be pavers as well. Pavers all the way to here. With like a nice border right here. So we're gonna do a border. You know the border we talked about. Yep, the border we just talked about. All of it. So it'll go right here to the edge of the property. I mean that is a pretty good size, good piece of patio. Mindy, what I said, my favorite part of all. This is the only spot with a view. I mean if you're gonna I throw know. down some patio throw down some entertaining seating area. You might as well stick it where the view is, right? Mom's always got the parties on the mind, and that was one of the kind of sad things about losing the backyard is we hosted so many fun kid parties back here, and we haven't since this all happened because no. it hasn't been usable. We yeah. were for certain that the basement kitchenette in the theater was the next major remodel to go uh -huh. down. This one's going to beat that one to the finish line, and yes, then we'll move on to that one. Work is going to be getting underway probably here in like the next 90 seconds. I bet they'll be showing up, I hope so. getting going on this. We'll walk you through the process, show you how it goes, see what we get done today, and then the finished product tomorrow so very exciting things going on in the Bingham backyard. I know, happy birthday to me. <laughs> Guys, my 90 second count was maybe a fraction of a second off. They literally pulled up 90 seconds after I made that joke. That is efficiency, reliability, dependability, and a group I'm stoked to be working with. All right, they're coming out here doing all of the prep work. They are digging up the rest of the grass here. This is where they're going to extend the patio. They are measuring, making sure things will be level and even. Getting going here, we can't wait. Also gonna catch some awesome footage from up there.
Sweet Kirby Doo. Just had the idea. He's like, it is so hot out there. Those guys have got to be thirsty. He's like, I'm going to get him a bunch of water bottles, throw them in a cooler so they can have some water if they need it. Crew, he's the most thoughtful kid I know. So he's grabbing some ice. I'll get this in the cooler right here. We only have mini water bottles left. Let's just give them all we have. We'll just throw all these mini water bottles into that cooler and they can just drink out of them. <laughs> Kirby do. Very, very thoughtful. Love it. I think they're gonna enjoy this. Uh, don't show anybody. Jeez. I'm trying to set this up here, crew. Sorry. Okay, so you guys saw crew roll up on his bullet bike earlier. There was some confusion on that, by the way. We saw a lot of comments on Instagram who people are like, I think he's too big for that. That is actually the purpose of those bikes. That's the intention. Those are adult bikes. Those aren't even for kids. They're for adults. In fact, it says on the bike you have to be 14 or older to ride it because it is considered Shh, an actual... Yeah, sh 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 so don't tell anybody. But that is the purpose and intention. They are silly, ultra mini, super bullet bikes. Look them up. They're pocket bikes. They get raced around the world. They're incredible machines, but they are intentionally very, very small. You saw him roll up on that. One of the things that I like to do is ride around on the one wheel with him. I can't keep up, of course. I have made some minor modifications to my one wheel. I ordered a little something special. Let's show him what we got. It came in the mail today. I got so excited when it arrived. <gasps> So check this out guys, I got a blue pint fender. That's, That's the, fender. the fender. This is a bumper, I think. Anyways, I got this one. It's not quite the right blue, but it will add a little bit of pizzazz. I'm gonna put this on. There's the back one, okay. Oh my gosh, let's get these put on and then let's go take it out for a spin, want to? Yep. I finally got it all done. It took a lot more like shimmying and shaking and tugging to get this out than I thought. It was kind of jammed in there with dirt and rocks. We've been riding pretty hard on it. And it took so long. Look how big crew got. Yeah, guys. <laughs> like I got right here because we got a separate one wheel venture to get into right now. But I want to show you guys. We're going to go take these out for a spin. I'm going to get crew on the bullet bike. We're going to go give this new look, this new fresh look, a spin outside. But first, Rye Guy and I we got something fun we're going to crack open from one wheel. We got this the other night when I ordered these bumpers. We threw one of these in our kit. Rye Guy, why don't you show us what we've got there? So what this is, is basically, you've seen mini tech decks, mini skateboards. These are mini finger one wheels. We've got the Pint and the XR right here. They come with some custom colored grip tape. They actually have the fen what do you call the fenders cover the wheel. You can customize them. It is exactly uh -huh. like a one wheel. I mean, down to every last detail. They, the wave stand they even well. have the wave stand exactly like I have here, you guys. We're gonna customize these up, play with them a little bit. But next up, time for a ride on the big boy. Progress is coming along swimmingly yeah, out is. there. They are workhorses. It's just like load after load after load. They definitely have a little bit more stamina than us. Oh my gosh, like we took out that side. We had to have the sod cutter and I, I was still exhausted. They're doing it by hand. It is in the right hand, speaking of that. What we're gonna do is leave them with a little peace and quiet right now. Mom and I are gonna go on a little birthday date, do a little bit of shopping, a little bit of dinner. The kids are in for a rare back-to-back -back treat. They're gonna hang out with Mom and Papa today at Uncle Sean's pool. So they're gonna go have a fun time while we go have a fun time. These guys are gonna have a fun time. And then we'll see how far they go when we get back. What up, we right guys? <laughs> We have returned from our fun night out. Rai Guy's back from his fun day at the pool. How was it? It's fun. Check out our Insta stories because Sean, their uncle, most amazing uncle on the planet, was there with them, yeah. flipping them, playing with them, hanging out in the hot tub with them. They had a blast. We had a blast. We came home to this. May not look like much, but it is prepped. That's because what you said. It's fully prepped. It's fully prepped. I'm a little bit worried because I'm afraid that the furniture we got is not going to fill it. It's just a really big space. So all of the like, rocks and dirt part that they had out there, they put into here, flattened it out with this little pounder thing, and it's all fully prepped. 
prepped. So you can see we've still got pallets of pavers over there and everything else to put in tomorrow. So tomorrow, make sure you guys do come back because they anticipate completing this tomorrow. That yeah, is the plan. That's so, the plan. I think tomorrow they just have to lay down the sand, finish off the sod, put in the pavers. Pavers, done. And I had to bring Reg out here because he's got the coolest view of this whole thing from his room. His room is right up there. And he can just look right out onto this. And I think that's gonna be a lot of fun. He told me tonight, he's like, I can't wait till we get that and the couch is in there. I'm just gonna lay on that couch, stare up at the starry night sky. I think we're all pretty excited about this. And it was totally unexpected, a little bit impromptu, but I think it's gonna be a great addition to the home. It's gonna be really awesome. Make sure you come back tomorrow to see the progress on that. It's gonna be an awesome day. I love you guys so much. See you then. Good night, everybody. Bye. Bye.